Okay, now I've got a beautiful little baby corn snake here. Um, this guy's a little bit uh, older than a hatchling. Um, you can see he's, uh, he's also a collar bred uh, part of the family. He's uh, a long, skinny type snake, uh, a little bit more flighty and fast. Um, he does, uh, does want to run from me. You can tell he's trying to uh, uh, run away a little bit. Corn snakes tend to be pretty tame. Pretty docile. You see, he's holding on to my. That's another great example of the use of a of a tail by a snake. He said he can hold on to me right like that and put his whole body weight on there um, if he needs to. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> like I said, these guys are very very common all throughout the uh, the United States and in uh, Northwest. Um, they uh, are called corn snakes because they're often found in corn fields, um, feeding on uh, mice and things like that. Uh, they come in a wide variety of color variations now. There's lots of designer species out there you can get your hands on. Um, this one has a, a, one of my particular favorite uh, colorations. Um, the, the, this nice deep red is I find very attractive. Um, you can see he's, he's uh, sniffing around frantically with that tongue, flicking it about, checking out what's going on, making sure there's no predators around or, or no prey. Maybe he's hungry, um, though this guy did eat uh, not too long ago. Um, at this size, he is eating pinkies, little baby mice, and he's eating roughly two to three of them a week. Um, he definitely likes to pack in the food. So, uh, just like we were talking about with the, uh, the, the rainbow boy, if I can get him to chill out for one second, that's where his tail starts, right there. Um, you can see, you can see that the sudden change, whoop, whoop, sudden change in, uh, width. Uh, very quickly drops down. His vent is right there on the bottom. He really does not want to chill out for me at all. Not trying to bite me, though, you'll notice. They're very, very t uh, tame in that sense. He doesn't want to bite me. Snakes don't want to bite. It's their last line of defense, really. He, he would much rather uh, run from me than bite me, um, because if he bites me, then he's invested in our fight, and uh, chances are, uh, against any mammal for the most part, I'm going to win, as I have lots of teeth and claws.